Section 1.62, what we continue with the limit of, com of sequence and its convergence. Now let's look at a very special sequence. 1 plus 1 over n to the power n. This sequence converges to the number e, but we're not going to prove that right now. We're only going to prove that it converges without saying what it converges to. But it's good to remember that this is the sequence that will get, to, get you to e. To show the sequence converges, we have to multiply this thing out. There's no getting around it. And of course, to multiply it out, we have to use the formula for multiplying, which is 1 plus a to the power n. And what does this expand to? By the binomial expansion, that's the name of this expansion, a equal to, by the time you look it up, or just believe when I tell you this formula, is uh, 1 plus n times a, and then plus n, n minus 1, divided by 2 factorial, and that's a squared. And then a third time, we'll write down one more term, n, n minus 1, n minus 2, divided by 3 factorial, and that's a to the power 3, and, and you keep going all the, way, all the way up to a to the power n. All right, and then we are going to substitute 1 over n into a, to calculate our expansion, and that would be 1 plus 1 over n to the power n is equal to that's 1. And then the second one, substituting, we get 1 n times 1 over n, which is just 1. The second term, n, n minus 1, divided by 2 times 1 over n squared. Okay, that's the second term. And then in general, we will have um, plus, you keep adding as n goes up. In general, a, a, spe a specific term looks like this. You have n times n minus 1, n minus 2, and you go all the way up to n minus uh, k minus 1. That's where you go up to. And then the whole thing will be divided by you go up, see this is 1, 2, oh, you go all the way up to k, so it's k factorial, and you multiply by 1 over n to the power k, similar to this, okay, that's squared, that's to the power k, and then you keep going, this thing is, that's not the end, you keep adding until, okay, you keep adding until where k goes from the value 0, and it reaches all the way up to the value n. And then we're done with the binomial expansion. Now we're going to simplify this particular expression here by, okay, now this expression is just one of the terms that we're adding. We are going to, you notice that on top there's n and n minus 1 all the way up to k minus 1. So there's 1, 2, k minus 1, one more. So there are k terms here, k things that you're multiplying. And there happen to be k n's down here. So we're going to arrange it, so each, we'll put one n under each of these things in terms of fractions, like this. So this particular term becomes 1 over k factorial times, the first one is just n over n, and that of course is just 1, but we'll write it down just to be consistent. The second term, n minus 1, n minus 1 over n, and then the next term, n minus 2, and we keep going until we finally get to n minus k minus 1 in parentheses over n. Okay. In doing this, we just distribute n, one n under each term. So that's what it will look like. This is the same thing as here. Now, the reason we want to do that is because we want to rewrite this formula here in a form that's easier to see for our purposes. That is 1 plus 1 over n to the power n is equal to 1 plus 1. Okay, the first two terms are just 1. Plus, we are going to write down the 2 factorial over here. 1 over 2 factorial. Actually, what we're going to do is write down the 2 factorial as the denominator, like this. Here's 2 factorial. And write this whole thing here as the numerator. That is, what does that become? One of the n's get canceled, so you have n minus 1 over n. And we'll rewrite it, n minus 1 over n, 
as this. This is the same as n minus 1 over n. Okay, writing it in a different way. So we have only that over that one of the terms. And then the next one, we have the third term. We'll add to one more. So we will have, um, as you can see, we have 3 factorial on the bottom. And then we have then then we have 1 minus 1 over n. That's the first one. Okay. And then that's the next one is uh, 1 minus 2 over n. Because it goes up to the k minus 1. So if it's, that becomes 1 minus that term. In general, we keep adding it up until we get to the point, the last term. We'll get to the last term, is, um, which is the bottom will become k goes all the way up to n. Yeah. So k, the very last term is k goes to n. So we have 1 minus 1 over n. <coughs> and then 1 minus 2 over n, all the way up to 1 minus n minus 1 over n. Because k becomes n, so this is 1 minus n minus 1 over n. That's the same fraction as this one. So that's what we have. That's the very last term of the expansion. At this point, we will consider the next term in the series which is Sn plus 1. What does Sn plus 1 look like? Because first we want to show that the sequence is increasing. And then we want to show the sequence is bounded. A bounded and increasing sequence is, of course, a convergent sequence. So what is N, Sn plus 1? We'll follow the same formula, which it, it will be equal to this. And then the second term becomes 1 minus n plus 1. Okay divided by 2 factorial, and so on. So you replace n plus 1, uh, replace n with n plus 1 for everything going on, plus you have one more term, because this goes from, instead of from, from 0 here to 0 to n, it goes from 0 to n plus 1. So there's one more thing to add. And look at this thing. What is that? This is n plus 1, and this is n. So this term, this is smaller than that one. When you subtract then, that means this whole fraction is bigger than this fraction, being that this is slightly bigger, and therefore the whole fractions end up being smaller because you are subtracting by a smaller value. So then the whole fraction is bigger, which this goes to prove, plus this whole sequence, remember I said it has one more term at the end. There's an n plus 1 term. Okay, there's one more. So all that goes to show the n plus 1 is bigger than Sn. And therefore, it is an increasing sequence. Next, how do we show that it is bounded? Well, to show that it's bounded, we look, we observe the Sn is bigger than or equal to, is bigger than this thing, plus 1. That's the same as here. Plus, we'll replace all the stuff with simply 1 over the factorials, all the way up to n factorial. Why is that? Um, because, uh, pardon me, it's smaller than, because we're trying to have the sequence bounded from above. So this is smaller than. Now the, the reason it's smaller is because this fraction right here, compared to this fraction, that's actually less than this, because one is subtracting by some kind of a fraction, so it's less than just one, and therefore this value is less than this. Correspondingly, this value is less than this, because each one of these terms are less than 1. So multiplying together, they're still less than 1. So all together, this whole thing is going to be less than this particular sum. Now this sum is, uh, as we have done in a previous example, this sum is, is shown to be less than 2. Okay, So which means that our Sn is going to be less than 1 plus 2 is 3. And that concludes our proof that Sn is a, is a convergent sequence. And remember, for convenience, that Sn converges to E.